Hey everybody, we're getting ready to get started. Thank you, Donna, if you're in here. Donna just finished up. She had an awesome auction today. Had some really cool stuff. We're going to let some people get into the room. I know everybody's kind of transitioning over. And then we have a whole bunch of stuff on the table here in front of me. Um, all kinds of different items. Pam is over monitoring the chat um, as we have a whole bunch of people who sent me registrations. If you sent me a registration, oh, Pam's leaving. If you sent me a registration, make sure that you guys comment in the in the chat. So what? I told Marilyn that she just asked if she could come today. I said we we're doing an auction from one to four. Uh, well, it's going to be hard for her to bid, won't it? Hi, Kathy. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Tamara. So we'll get underway in just a minute. Marilyn Delgado just showed up and pick up some of her stuff. So we are going to get underway. And we're just letting some people get into the room. Yep, Eddie, I got yours. There you go. Again, if you did send me a registration and you're not yet wrenched, make sure that you make a comment so that I can get you registered. Uh, apparently, you guys can hear me okay. If you can't hear me, let me know before we get too far into being underway. I will put something in front of the camera just so that we can – so people know that we've got stuff going. Your spoons, Cindy. Cindy, what spoons did you order? I'm trying to think of. Send me an email, Cindy, because I don't know of us selling any spoons unless it was a while back, maybe like. A good while back, but if you send me an email, I can search your email and then cross-reference it to the uh, to the postal invoices and get you Apostle Spoons. Hmm. Yeah, just send me an email to the email address at the bottom. It's been two weeks ago. Yeah, I'll check for you as soon as the auction's over. And we will be underway in just a second. <laughs> yeah, did we already put the you put the card out? Go ahead and put the card out before we Oh, okay. Okay, guys, we're going to get underway. We have 52 here now. Other people will trickle in as we start going. We have some sports cards, a lot of media, um, a lot of collectibles. We just got back like 10 or 12 boxes of stuff from Amazon, which I have no clue what it is. Uh, Cindy Penick asked about spoons. She said she bought Air Apostle spoons or Apostle spoons. The name's not familiar to me, so that's why I wasn't sure. Cindy, just check, uh, like I said, send me an email to that bottom email so that I can look on uh, on our PayPal invoicing to make sure it wasn't the day that like we had other people selling because they would have been doing it as well. You would have been invoiced by them. If you get an invoice from us, it'll say Mr. Buys a lot, LLC. Okay, let's get underway. Pam's done. So first up, we have some books, some paperbacks. So Danielle Steele. It's going to be a $10 start. So there's two. Sarah Blaine. 
uh, a Regency Christmas. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know who's important in books, so I'm just showing you what we got. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, Christmas secrets, nineteen. 20, another Christmas, Regency Christmas, 21, 22, Nora Roberts, 23, 24, Silhouette Romance, 25, 26, 27, Danielle Steele, 28, Barbara Cartland, 29, 30, another silhouette romance, 31, more silhouette romance, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, silhouette romance, and silhouette romance, 37, 38. So there's, I think, 37. We'll say 37. If you get 38, you get a bonus. Yep, go ahead. Sorry about the noise. I was a little late today. Okay, so you're getting 37 books, 37 paperback novels. See where we're at. Whole big box. Uh, yeah, Porsche said she's got the money now. Okay, Deb Porsche. Okay. Got it. Yep, we got Deb Forish. Just wrenched her up. Hello, Dave. Hello, Frank. Hi, Loot Raider. A hey, toilet. I just like saying toilet. It's fun. <laughs> There's always a potty when we're going around with toilet. Old Chris Lafferton. I need an email for you. Nope, Chris, I got yours. Okay, let's do another big box of media isk type stuff. These are actually really sellable, um, but they came out of that house, so I don't have time to do that stuff for right at the moment. This is a sealed pack of blank video uh, video cassette VHS tapes. This is a 10 pack. I'm pretty sure all of these are blanks. So, because they were all in one giant box, it said blanks. Here is a, it says five pack of Fuji. There's only four. Uh, it's going to be 20 bucks. Here's more. So I'll try to get them in stacks of five so that we know how many pieces there are. So I know these have a pretty good secondary market, especially like when they're sealed, like this one's sealed. So there's a bunch of sealed ones. 
These are all sealed. Then we have, oh, these are actually cool. And these are probably much better than the VHS tapes. So these are Sony high fidelity sealed cassette tapes, like blank cassettes. There's three, four, here's a different kind. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. So they're all sealed cassette tapes. Here is a case of Memorex jewel, slim jewel cases. So I guess these are just the cases. Here's a whole bunch more. Uh, I don't know what's on these. So those are all blank jewel cases there. And then I think these are blanks as well. I don't think these have been used. So a whole bunch of uh, CDRs. So there's a stack of those. So you get all of this for one money. There are 10, 15, 16 sealed VHS, 17, 18, 19. So there's, yeah, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. These are sealed over here. So that's 20 sealed. And then nine not sealed, but pretty sure that those are blanks as well because there was cellophane in the box. And everything else you see right there. So lots of sealed VHS blanks and Sony cassettes, 90 minutes. Those are actually really good. Those are all factory sealed as well. And this includes the shipping. We're at 35 with sand all around. Okay. So lots and lots of VHS tapes. Lots and lots of blank VHS tapes. Okay. I'm just putting the VHS in the bottom of the box here. Hi, Mama G. And this is a case of 30 slim colored jewel cases. And then your cassette tapes. There we go. It's a lot of stuff. And we have so much more for today. And this video has been brought to you by Arby's. Our auctions are in no way sponsored by Arby's, but the figure that I have, my shape, is sponsored by Arby's. So we are at 40 with Janine. Oh, wait, we're at 40 with Sand. <laughs> Shoot. Sold the Sand Dollar Ray for 40. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when they start goofing around. Just laughing at you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, another thing done off the table. Okay, don't know what this stuff is. Pam, put it over here. So this is a. 2009 calendar featuring Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, still factory sealed. Here is a 1996 pinups calendar. The cello on it's really ripped up and beat up, so we'll open it so you guys can see the pinups. <laughs> no, I think I'm good. Thanks. 
So these are pinup girls by Elvgren. 1996 calendar. So you get that. You get the Muppet parody calendar, the sequel by Frogfeld. So it's supposed to be like a Seinfeld thing from 1997. And you get a Led Zeppelin 1994 calendar. The cello split, but it was sealed in the cello. What's up, Gary? What's up? So you got all of that interesting, fun stuff. Looking for a $10 start on the four calendars with Led Zeppelin, the Seinfeld Muppet parody, the Elvgren pinup girls, and the Indiana Jones Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. What's up, Gary? Yeah, you got records? Yeah, records. records. Let's add records to the lot. They're about the same size and shape. Oh, this is Laserdisc. Okay, so we're going to add this to the lot just because it's here. This is Laserdisc, so the videos, but this is Walt Disney, Beauty and the Beast. Pretty rare. Pretty hard to find. Beauty and the Beast. That's Pam and Brian, just in other languages. <laughs> I'm the beauty, just so everybody knows. Widescreen edition, laser disc of James Kane and Kathy Bates in Misery. This one is still factory sealed. She's finding more stuff. She's handing me more stuff. Widescreen edition, this is another laser disc of Les Miserables. Miserables. However you want to say it. Pam said, they miss I don't know why they have both of the discs are in one sleeve. There. Now they are correct. There's one in each sleeve. Oh, we have a record. This is a record. This is a valiant record. Cast your fate to the wind, Shelby Flint. This is factory sealed. This is an old record. Factory sealed. Waikiki Brass Visit Tijuana. So Jack DeMello and the Waikiki Brass. This one is a dot stereo record. This one is still factory sealed. Look, not for sale, promotional use only. Nope, we're selling it because we're breaking the law, breaking the law. Here's another old record of the visual sounds of the key men, Larry Son and his orchestra. Oral record. More? Give me more. Take more. Lush Love Hawaiian Style. This is a... Uh, Mon, monoral, monoral, the Jack DeMello Orchestra and his choirs. Oh, here's some more. Pam keeps handing me stuff. I'm going to keep putting it in front of you guys. Uncle Bill socks it to you with WC Fields on the cover. This is factory sealed. Nice old record. James Pants. I do not know who James Pants is. I wonder if he's related to Stephen Shorts. Distributor and promoters of Jet Productions, Fat Beats Records. So this is a records. Stones Throw Records is the company. It is factory sealed, James Pants. And the band, the pipes and the drums of the Hurricane Grenaders in review. Liberty High School, Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. I, I thought that was the one that I was given to Cody to give to the school. Oh, I have no idea. Oh, well, you get it now. Under there. <laughs> Whatever. I guess, yeah. Whoopsie. <laughs> 30 with Glenn's goal. So we have 30 with Glenn. 
And I believe that's everything in the slot. So you get the Liberty High School from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Old record. Let's Pam put it up there. James Pants. Boots and pants and boots and pants and boots and pants. This is factory sealed. Uncle Bill socks it to you. WC Fields. This one's factory sealed as well. Lush Love Hawaiian style. She's driving. Yeah. Key Min. Waikiki Brass. Visit Tijuana. This one's factory sealed. Factory sealed Shelby Flint. Four, five, six, seven. Seven there, and then we go into laser disc. Okay. Well, <laughs> the Dreamcast widescreen edition. You don't nail it down, it goes. That's right. <laughs> misery. I heard this this video likes company. <laughs> yeah, misery likes company. Oh. -um okay. Beauty and the Beast. Laser disc. This one's cool. I love the old laser disc. Just like that's a DVD, folks. It is a big DVD. Cav letter, letterbox laser disc. The 1994 calendar for Led Zeppelin, still with the seal on it. Seal's broken. Seinfeld Muppet parody calendar, 1997. Indiana Jones Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, sealed. And the Elvgren Pinup Girls calendar. Right there. It's a nice big lot of stuff. Stuff. I like the Beauty and the Beast one. Too bad I don't have a player. They are Oh no, laser Yeah, laser disc. Forty four. Kyle Elliott at forty six. See, like watching one of those movies and DJ at the same time. Beauty and the beep, 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 beast. Okay. Looks like Gary's a great lot. Look, Kyle in at 50. Hi, Bruce. Welcome to the, to the crazy farm. Anybody else who has sent me a registration, please just make a comment in the chat so that we can give you a wrench. If you have not, follow the little yellow brick road down at the bottom of their screen that says to send an invoice or to send me a message at mrbyeslot795 at gmail.com. We will invoice you after the auctions. Frisbees, huh? I don't know. <laughs> That's not a good idea. <laughs> when I was a kid, we put razor blades on our Frisbees. I don't even see Bruce's comments. They're not showing up for me. Sold lot. $50, Kyle Elliott. Jabbies. Okay, Curry, hanging on. Okay, this slots to Kyle Elliott for fifty dollars. Congratulations, Kyle. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna put up this toy truck because it's kind of been the way of all the big boxes. And this is a very cool truck set. So this is by Yadro. And you can see it is for Guinness Beer and Ale. It is a yeah, not it's not Yadro as in like Yadro figurines. It's it's Lido. It's L L E D O. Okay. So instead of the A D O or the A D R O, it's Lido. Sorry guys. So it's a Guinness beer set. Each truck has a little, you know, it's marked on the bottom. Special license production by Lido, Einfeld, England. So you get the little truck. My goodness, my Guinness. You get the double decker bus right there. So ten dollar start ship. This is the original box. Have you had your Guinness today for Guinness beer? And then in the bottom of the box, 
is this cool stand that holds all the trucks and cars. Hey, Kyle. And further down is the limited edition numbering of the set number 379. So very cool set. Uh, I spent two hundred dollars on liquor last night. That's that's enough. <laughs> Reasons to go to Easton. Okay. So nice set, and I'm going to. Okay, so we got Bruce's. We got Jason Purvis, which is Jabby's. Yep. Brian Curry. Got it. And Julie Morris, obviously. Deb Forish, which we already got. Okay, we're all set. All set. You guys can bid, can participate, spend your money. Gary, are you a Guinness drinker? Pam, you're an anything drinker. She works with me. She's allowed to drink whatever she wants because she has to work with me. And then look, even here on the bottom, designed and built in England. Very cool die cast truck set. Look at Gary's at 30. So we're at 30 with Gary. Gary is at $30. You got you, Gary. <laughs> Mama G and Janine are on top of things. Welcome, Julie. <laughs> Trying to figure out what that is. <laughs> Me too. I don't know. I think that's, is that the boy symbol or the girl symbol? I think it's a girl. I don't know. Phone. Big hands, small phone. <laughs> Gary, it's much better if you have little hands. Makes your phone look huge. Sold? Are we sold? Sold. $50. dollars there and then Gary's 30. Okay, what's this? What's in this box? Oh, it sounds breakable. So it's breakable, whatever it is. It's okay, guys. T's not here to touch it. Like the Disney plate. So here is a ashtray. It's got like, I don't know, a whole bunch of English guards, maybe? Something? I don't know. Here is a Moron. Oh, wait, no. Morion handmade glass. <laughs> it's got like the air bubbles in it. It's like a purple. I can't read it. I didn't see the eye. Chicago ashtray with a whole bunch of different symbols. John Hancock Center aquarium. You almost spit the drink on me. Damn, every time I say the word Hancock, you're like, <laughs> Florida, Gulf of Mexico, ashtray. <laughs> There's like an orange crystal-esque ashtray, like an old style. It's pretty heavy. It's like working with a child. <laughs> You were the one who laughed when I said Hancock. Another 
ashtray. There is a big amber colored ashtray. So I'll put the little amber colored ashtray inside of the big amber colored ashtray. 20 bucks. Here is a U.S. Capitol, Washington, D.C. I guess it's probably held cards or something. There is a tiny flaker right there. It's like a like simulated wood with a lid. Let's see what it says on the bottom. Doesn't say anything. Has the glass insert for the tray. Yeah, it's pretty. But I think it's for poker cards. Oh, this is probably pressed glass or cut crystal. It's it's got a little bit of sharpness to it, and it is extremely heavy. So this is probably lead crystal. It is definitely lead crystal. And then, last but not least in this tray is genuine petrified wood. Jerome, population of 15,000, Jerome Ghost City. That's kind of cool. Let's see what the back says. Arizona Discoveries from Jerome, Arizona. A petrified wood going all around it. Oh, okay. So the little thing holds cigarettes. Uh, the Chicago one. This one. First National Bank Building. Buckingham Fountain. State Street, Shed Aquarium, Art Institute, Marina Towers, the Old Water Tower, O'Hare International Airport, and the John Hancock Center. See, she laughed again. Told you, it's not me. No, they can hear you laugh. So there are three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pieces. And like I said, this piece is probably two and a half to three pounds, and it is leaded crystal. Bluegrass picker in at 25. This is why we go on in the afternoon. By now, kids are doing their homework. Bluegrass picker at 30. We may not be the most PC auction on the internet, but we sure is fun here on this interwebs. We press picker at 35. I have Anthony in at 35. Thank you, Anthony. It's a battle of the pickers. <laughs> Her last name is Badcock. <laughs> Uh, it was fun. <laughs> yeah, gonna stay right out of that one. I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave your friend Badcock alone. <laughs> Get her done. <laughs> oh, we're at 35 with Anthony. Looking for any more interest? If you're out, say out, please. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, I go on twice. You guys are making Pam laugh. That's a good thing. Her dad's in the hospital today getting surgery, so. <laughs> and we have her chained here to the table. Not with those condom galore chains either. Not with the ones you can just pop yourself out of. We ordered these chains right from China. <laughs> China. Well, how else are you supposed to get work done? We sold. Going once, going twice. Oh. Sold. Sold, sold, sold to Anthony. Congratulations, Anthony. Thanks, Mama G. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> I think Pam's going to miss you guys more when I leave than she's going to miss me. 
I don't blame her, but still. I remember that when I'm down in South Carolina and you're like, hey, see if you can find this liquor bottle that I'm looking for. Yeah, and ship it up here ASAP. Okay, here's a box of ephemera books and such. Some little non-sports cards. Where's Waldo? Uh, the Goosebumps something. Hyatt Regency. I don't know what these are all Goosebumps. Here's some quarters. How is it in America you can sell a quarter for two for a dollar ninety five? One quarter costs a dollar ninety five. So that one is of uh, Delaware with its eight eight people who live there. Here's Georgia. My brother and sister came from down there. They married. Eighteen ninety eight bond and uh, bond intent coupons. I don't know what those are. Boston Terminal Company. What am I missing? Uh, her first marriage. Her name was Love. <laughs> Who said that? Uh. Especially with them, they add Laura La La liqueur. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> hey, up here they get two dollar bills. No one dollar anymore. Hamilton Beach Model K food mixer. So this is probably like what you would get with the old mixer. Ten dollars start in this box, guys. Guy Lombardo in concert. Copyright nineteen seventy five. Every girl I've ever dated, her name sounds like a stripper name. Every one of them took dollar bills from me, too. Ice Capades, $2 program. Holiday on Ice. Ooh, look. Cookie, cookie, cookie starts with C. C is for cookie. So, Holiday on Ice program. Souvenir program. Look. Wait, wait. Tom Jones. What did he say? Oh. Wet Snoop Pussycat. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, wait. Maybe it's what? Pussycat. <laughs> Look. Shaking hands with some dude in a diaper. A sumo wrestler. Budapest. Arizona Highways. Sorry, I'm taking too long. Arizona Highways, 1981. Here's Texas, Land of Contrast. Here's a New Mexico something, uh, like souvenir booklet. Exxon Travel Club Vacation Travel Guide. Here's Mack Trucks. They're from here in Pennsylvania. CF Fire Apparatus. If you always wanted to be a fireman. And you needed to know where to go to get your hose to work right here. <laughs> Mac trucks. What? <laughs> Say what? <laughs> Who said that? I mean. <laughs> I'm supposed to be selling cats and roosters? They yell at me for doing that. Great adventure souvenir book. Pan Am's World Tours of Europe. So 1978. That's kind of cool. In Room Magazine, 1982 with SeaWorld, Arizona. There's some kind of 1982 Liv Denver Living Magazine. Bloomsburg University. Bloom I, Blooms yeah, Bloomsburg University. Crikey. No, wait. That's Steve Irwin, not Steve Parrish. Sydney, Australia. Say what? ATS Tours, Australia. You don't want me in the corner. I make a mess over there. Engelbert Humperdick. Right there. There you go. You too can have Engelbert staring at you in the bathroom. Uh, I can't read that. Sorry. 1976. I can tell you what year it is. Paris Hilton. Oh, wait. No, that's Princess Diana. I'm sorry. I was just messing around. Pikes Peak Country Magazine, motoring in Hungary. 
Uh, no Pokemon today. There will be a video coming out this week on the Pokemon that I just picked up because there are some base set first edition hollow foil Machamps in there. There's three of them. One's still sealed in the package. So I've got to make a video of it first before I can sell them. Colorful Niagara Falls, Land of the Rainbow. Ontario Place, Toronto, Canada. They make good weenies. Wait, those are finest sausages. Sorry. United Nations, pictorial book. Bradshaw's Guide to Oak Creek Canyon. The Canadian Rockies. The Living White House, revised edition. Some map thing and Montezuma Castle travel guide. So you get all of that interesting stuff to make you worldly and have cool postcards. And this one's from a funeral home. So here's a wedding embassy yearbook from a funeral home. What does that tell you? That marriage isn't going to last. So lots of interesting stuff that we find laying around here in the warehouse that we throw in big boxes and just sell it. Okay. Like I said, these are kind of neat. I'm not sure what they are, but 1898 bond and tent coupons. They're little. That in there, it's got 50 cent. At least you got 50 cent in here. Okay, where are we at? We sold? Uh, no, we're 22. <laughs> With Steve. They're talking about weenies. You and your Vienna sausages. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my question is, is it really small because it's only a three-inch floppy one? Because if you put that into a into a bottle cap, it's huge. Now, if you put it into a 12 by 12 by 12 box, you can yeah. see the bond. Is that that little thing in the, the sleeve? That this, that's this thing. Okay. These things. Look, they're even sequential. Number 173 and number 174. on top so this is a large size priority mailbox large flat rate priority mailbox that is completely full i'm just going to close the lid and send it to you like that Twenty five with Bruce. Steve Vosh is out. Anybody else? Anybody else? Go once, go twice. Three times a lady. 27. Reminds me of a joke. This guy's laying on the couch, throwing peanuts up in the air. He's catching them in his mouth. One, two. Door opens, turns his head. Peanut falls in his ear. Doesn't know what to do. It's stuck in there. Coming through the door, his daughter-in-law and her boyfriend. Boyfriend says, he explains what happened. Boyfriend says, I know what to do. He sticks two fingers up the guy's nostrils. Says, now blow. Guy blows. Peanut comes out. Guy says, wow, thanks. How'd you learn that? Mother comes out and says, what happened? They explain. She says, wow, are you going to be a doctor? What are you planning to be when you go up, when you get older? The boy, you know, the daughter's boyfriend goes, oh, I'm not sure yet. The father goes, well, by the smell of his fingers, I think he plans to be my son-in-law. Ah, okay. Bad jokes, okay. <laughs> oh, 
my goodness. <laughs> Don't encourage him, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is definitely, yeah, not, definitely. A clean, not a channel. <laughs> no. Dave said that was a two out of ten joke. <laughs> okay, sold the sky for thirty two. <laughs> sold, sold, sold. Guess I should just stick to auctioneer now. Yeah, okay, what was in this big box? What's in this big box? Oh, this is all that like bathroom, kitcheny. Stuff from the house. Okay. So here's a big old box. It's got a blower on it and everything. Inside this big old box is a Vidal Sassoon. Vidal Sassoon. Hair curler. When you want to go back to the 70s and remember your bangs when you put them up in the 80s and 90s, Vidal Sassoon was the thing for you. Okay, that's in the package or in the in the little case. How about a yellow hair dryer? <laughs> a yellow hair dryer. Oh wait, but it's not a yellow hair dryer. It's a white, different hair dryer from Kmart, an eight hundred deluxe. No, I never opened this. Well, that's not the right hair dryer for this box. So just so you guys know, but it's got a cool box. Box always looks good until you get inside of it there. West Clock's Big Ben. That didn't sound good either. <laughs> now that I go back and think about it, here's a cuticle set from Revlon. Uh, $20 start on whatever's in this box. We're going to keep pulling stuff out until you guys find something that's interesting. First alert. Day timer, dual, dual outlet timer. Here's a ladybug. If June bugs around, this is one of her relatives. It's Ladybug Deluxe. Ladybug Deluxe, right there. Um, let's see what this thing is. This is some kind of a hair dryer, Hartman hair dryer. It looks like a harmonica, but it is definitely a hair dryer. <laughs> Conair, 1800. You too? Wait, wait. I don't have any bangs. Look, that was a normal thing when I was in school. Look, here's a Vidal Sassoon hair dryer with a whole bunch of accessories. I pers personally would throw some of those accessories away because, I don't know, they still got somebody's hair in them. Francis, foreign electricity converter. And last but not least, inside of this box, and somebody filled this box with stuff. Here's a goodie. These are, what are these called? The things that go in your hair? No, they're like the little bobby, pins. bobby pins. Pam said these are called bobby pins. And then let's see what's in this thing. Um, portable hair dryer by Lady Sunbeam Vista. So here is a Lady Sunbeam Vista portable hair dryer. So I guess this is a cap you put on your head and it dries your hair. But I can honestly say I never used one of those and I've had a perm. I just wanted wave in my hair, and it came out a little, a little more than wave. Okay, so you get all this stuff: portable hair dryer, another hair dryer. You said I would toss that. And... Here's another hair dryer. So you get lots of hair dryers. This awesome hair dryer. This one I think is neat. Headlight. 
it's a, it's a bitter pass lot. Ladybug Deluxe Razor. Or if there's something specific out of this lot you want, we'll make the price cheaper and sell you that item. All of it for a $20 start. Yeah, I think I do have picks, but I am not going to show you guys. Ain't going to happen. You guys will see me streaking through the city before you see me with perm again. One I'm proud of, the other one I'm not. See? <laughs> no. Oh, no. <laughs> Going once. Oh, God. <laughs> and Connie, if there's stuff that you do not want in this lot, just let me know and I'll get rid of it. Which should be on what time? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess they're asking about when we're going to go streaking. <laughs> I was just trying to get wave in my hair because my hair is really fine. <laughs> I'd have to ask my mom for it because it's it's way back when I was in like eighth or ninth grade. So Connie's books and things for twenty dollars. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's out of here. Like I said, Connie, if there's specific things you don't want in that lot, let me know, and I will not send them to you so that you don't have to dispose of them. We got a dumpster for that. Yep. What's up, lobster? There you go. Okay. Sometime back, I bought some DVDs. Here they are. They're from like the whenever Blockbuster closed. So I have a couple lots. Terribly Happy, The Producers, Coco Chanel, Hot Fuzz, Love Lies Bleeding, Where are you from, Brian? They Romeo's Bleeding, <laughs> Water for Elephants. You mean where was I born or where do I live now? In Pennsylvania now, in Allentown. I was born in North Carolina and I've lived in Hawaii, Pennsylvania, and North Carolina for years. Legion. Adam had four sons, extraordinary measures, a single man, line, the nude bomb, Robin Hood men in tights, bigger, stronger, faster. God, story of my life. The Waiting City, Captain Blood, Wakewood. Uh, $10. Let's start it at $10. There's 75 movies. The Lincoln Lawyer, Rampart. It's $10 shipped. Torque, that was the movie about the motorcycles that was really good. Super bad. <laughs> Savages, Summer Lover, Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants 2, Shadow Man, The Artist, Best Foot Forward, Lover Boy, Factory Girl, Get Him to the Greek, Rocky 4, Ayo Adrian, The Beaver. Sure, sure, sure. Ashboro, near like uh, Winston Salem. Here's the condition. They're actually all pretty nice. The Kissing Bandit. I'll show you the condition of another one. Platoon Special Edition. Sent, sent in tong, tango, hard hat Harry, boats and ships and airplanes. That's Harry Humstone in his past life, hard hat Harry. The Pacific, Joe versus the volcano, 
Joe lost. No, we just sold a bunch of thin cases. The Life Zone, the Grace card. I don't even remember where I bought these, to be honest. I bought, like, I think I bought 750 of them. Okay. Ultimate Access, Derek Jeter. Terminator Sal Salvation. But you can see right there. It's a blockbuster movie. Ten. So you get 75 movies. I bought them because I used to do flea markets, and I was like, oh, you know, I'll just put them inside of binders and bring them out there for two bucks a piece, and they'll sell. Two bucks a piece, three for five, something like that. Well, they went in, they stayed in a box in here that didn't get opened for almost uh, eight months a year. Chase and Amy. Yeah, okay, what's What love is, the librarian. Married men and single women. I cannot tell you if any of these are dirty or not. The Mark Peace Experience. The Zone. This one's rated R, so NR. Gene Roddenberry's Andromeda. That is season one, disc one of one. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. The complete second season, disc five. Bones. Charlie and Lola. Uh, yeah, don't know what that one is. Young Justice. I think that's a cartoon. ER, well, Lois and Clark, so these are some season, so they probably have two or three episodes on it. The Adventures of Pete and Pete, here's The Shield Season 4, Murr vs. Crow Cop, Star Trek Fan Collective, The Borg, Skins, Curb the Enthusiasm, Oz, The Question, and Emma. So it's roughly 75 movies, Pam kind of counted them. So there might be a few more. We'll say between 70 and 80 movies, just to be safe. Person of 15. Yep. So we're at 15 with Bruce. 17 with JRKR. And it's funny, though, like, there's no duplication. So if you guys get locked down again, this would be something fun to do in your spare time. Watch a bunch of movies. Or if you have, like, an antique co-op, you can put them out, you know. So we have Eddie in at 20. And that is shipped to your door. 75, well, between 70 and 80 movies. Pam said there might be more. So we have Bruce in at 25. So how about this, guys? Let's just do $25 instead of letting you guys keep bidding each other up. Let's do $25 a lot. How many lots did you make, Pam? Did you? 10. So we had 750 movies. So we have 10 lots available, $25 a lot. If you want some, tell me you want them. Say how many you want. We have 10 lots, $25 a lot. So anybody who wants them, just put sold and then X and the number of lots you want at $25 a lot, and Pam will write it down. And like I said, there's really no – I didn't see, like, a lot of duplicates. Pam made the lots, so. Okay. JRKR wants a lot. Susie Q will take a lot. Bruce. Bruce would like a lot. Oh, no, Bruce would like two lots. Yeah. Okay, so that's two, three, four lots. We still have six lots left, $25 a lot, roughly between 70 and 80 movies on DVD from Blockbuster. So we have six lots left. Anybody else? Okay. So I'll put that 
that on the tray because it's the one that they saw. I'll take one off of the tray. Yes, Blu-ray players will play DVDs. At least every one that I've ever used. So we have six lots left, $25 a lot, roughly between 70 and 80 movies in each lot. Random assortment. I cannot promise you that there will not be adult movies in there if Blockbuster had an adult section because these are from Blockbuster. Okay. Let DVD players know play Blu rays. That's correct. Correct. Okay, everybody done? Everybody done? We're all done? Next lot. If anybody wants any of these, just put DVD 25 and then how many lots you want. We have six lots left available. Okay. Okay, let's do a rock and roll concert poster. Um, actually, let's just do the rock and roll concert poster because I can't see anything else that would look good going up with it. So this is Halloween. Yeah, there might be naughty movies in there because some of them are rated R and some of them are rated NR. So. Hey, Bruce, thank you for sending your payment, but if you could wait for further. Yep. Yeah, in the future, Bruce, you can just wait. Uh, for me, I'll send you invoices. It's just easier because I have 160,000 items on eBay. So we used to get, you know, hundreds of payments a day to look through. But I'll be able to find yours, no problem. But thank you so much. <laughs> Definitely appreciate it. Halloween 1999, Government Mule. This one does have some stress lining at the top. You can see right there a little crease. This is, and this one has a little crease down here in the bottom. Yes, yep, do. yep, I actually have some here on the table. So this was with guest Deep Banana Blackout, Jerry Joseph, the Jack Morons, Mormons, sorry. <laughs> House of Blues in New Orleans. It's okay, Bruce, it's no worries. Everybody does it differently. Yep, yep, no problem. We got you. I'm just really used to running. I've been doing... Facebook live auctions for over two years. So we just do it that way. And it's a lot easier because I feel like you guys are doing my work for me. If you send me emails and everything like that. Yeah. It's just easier for me to find you guys too. When Brian's not here. Yep. So no problem. No worries at all. Your money is always welcome. <laughs> <laughs> So $10 start on the Halloween 1999 Government Mule concert poster. There is a couple creases in it, but interesting looking poster from that collection I bought. Just because I roll the posters to ship them, that's kind of got to go by itself because I don't have any more up here. And $10. $10 shipped. It cost us 6 bucks to ship it, so you're getting $4 for it. Ooh, what's in here? Sports stuff. Star Wars. So we're going to have some toys coming up. I see some glass. Bitter pass. Yeah, bitter pass, guys. Bitter pass. And if it's a pass, remember that we keep the same lot number. Yeah. So she counted as eight, nine, and ten. So go ahead and put them down as eight, nine, and ten. Yep, got them. That way we're all on the same pace. Yep. Okay, we have Kenneth in at ten dollars. <laughs> I'm almost out of coins, Mama G. Susie Q, and then Bruce bought two. Yep. Got 
So we have Ken in at ten dollars. Kenneth Rosenberry in at ten dollars on the Government Mule 1999 poster. Uh, yes, Kyle. We run across everything. A lot of <laughs> plastic models for for those. Most of them are usually unbuilt. Whenever I buy them, like in the boxes. There's not too much we don't see. We may be buying out a train store, a hobby shop in Maryland soon. So, hi, Pam. You may be bidding on Brian very soon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so, Scooby. She just gave me that look. That look that says... Sold to Kenneth Rosenberry. <laughs> says I'm going to kick in the nuts. Hey, Kenneth, congratulations. Nice buy. Okay, so let's do this lot. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, Darth Vader, rotate figure 360 degrees. But there's a, a banner that used to go up top that slid down. Star Wars, Epic Force, Darth Vader. Here is a Return of the Jedi... Lucas Films. This is from 1983. Can't tell anybody that. <laughs> yep. Maryland. 48 loosely foil reinforcement stickers from Star Wars Return of the Jedi. Nice try, whoever asked. <laughs> nice try. I'll let you know after I buy it. You can, you can come and help. Star Wars Empire Strikes Back. This is the original 1980. Yep, 1980. Kenner play case. Let's see. Trays. Should have trays. Yep, has trays. Has the two plastic insert trays. And you can see there, they had the different names of the figures that would have went in inside of them. Has both trays. So let's do a fifteen dollar start. Oh, okay, ten dollar start. That's fine. Whatever, we're gonna sell. Okay, so you have the Empire Strikes Back Star Wars carry case for the figures for the Kenner figures, and then you have the original nineteen seventy seven carry case. But as you can see here, the button snap has been pulled through the vinyl and there's no inside cases but this is from the 77 one for the original first year star wars figures so nice little lot of star wars i'm trying to see if i have anything else star wars star trek well i don't want to confuse the two but in what box this box Star Wars. Star Wars. Blasphemy. Okay, Star Wars. And you'll also get the Star Wars ship. It's a die cast metal ship in the package with the little book. You get the vintage Star Wars pieces, the Darth Vader on his stand. It's really cool as this one shows Boba Fett. He just passed away. And Darth Vader. Lost both of them this year. 32 with Woodbine Girl. Some nice lot of vintage. Sand all array and F50. Ray with the power bid. Kyle's lagging a little bit, I think. So we have Ray in at fifty dollars. So we're at fifty dollars. 
Looking for 55 guys. Mountain Man is out. Kyle's in at 55. What I would do is I probably would take the trays out of here and put them in here. But this one's actually in much better shape. So maybe not. So nice little Star Wars lot. Let me find you guys a tray to put them in. So we're at 55 with Kyle looking for any advance. Ooh, look at all these toys over here. Bunch of toy trays. Sand dollar and at 60. We filled my car last night with boxes from Amazon. Again. Again, she said. So we're at 60 with Ray. Hired. 65 with Kyle. Be cold. Just from going on and getting a mail call. So Ray in at 75. It's just between Ray and Kyle. So once one of them says out, if nobody else jumps in, then we can just call it quick to my mods. So it's just between Ray and Kyle. Kyle's out. Let's go ahead and call it down to Ray at $75. Give us a little bit of movement. Yep. There you go. Yeah, let's do something a little vintage and a little newer. We'll do, we'll do a little mix. Okay, you have a Queen Bee doll from, I don't know who that is supposed to be, um, but it's a Beauty Bug Ball collection, and it's Queen Bee. And apparently there's a hairpin inside for you. Madam Butterfly. Uh, so it's 1999 by Nickenbacher. Oh, it's Marie Osmond. That's who that is. Marie Osmond. So you're going to get two dolls, and then we're going to go back. Way back. This is a Chatty Cathy doll. Here's her little speaker system in the middle. If you guys know Chatty Cathy's and Charmin' Chatty's. Actually, I think this is a Charmin' Chatty. Yeah, I think this is Charmin' Chatty. I do not think she talks. We'll listen and we'll see. She just said, I'm watching you. Okay, so uh, $20 start because she's rather heavy. She is vintage Mattel. She's either Charmin Chatty or Chatty Cathy. I can't remember which one. I'm sure somebody out there in YouTube land will know which one she is. But she does have the cloth insert speaker, which I know makes her earlier than the pure plastic one. So $20 on the Marie Osmond Queen Bee Beauty Bug Ball doll. Beauty Bug Ball doll. And the Charmin Chatty or the Chatty Cathy. I can't remember which one. She's creepy. Somebody said it's Chatty Cathy. Stone Chatty Cathy. <laughs> That's horrifying. <laughs> okay. Chatty Cathy. Okay. <laughs> Chatty Cathy dolls are really good. They're actually very sellable. Right, we'll set her up so she, guys, she can look at you guys. Okay. There you go. $20 start on the Chatty Cathy. <laughs>
So everybody's agreeing that it is Chatty Cathy. $20, Janine. $20. And Chatty Cathy dolls are very good. Very sellable. You know, I probably could have looked on her dress, seen if she had a tag. But again, there's her speaker. So, Chatty Cathy. Oh, the twenty dollar bill with JRK. Here, twenty with JRKR. Yeah, I wish this one talked. She just talks fast. So we're looking for twenty-two for the two dolls, the Marie Osmond and the Chatty Cathy. Nineteen sixties. Nice mountain man. You know what that means? That means that it's time for you to buy a haunted house and then everything in the house is haunted. So we got twenty dollars with JRKR and Chatty Kathy and the Marie Osmond doll. Any advance? We have 95 people here. Thank you, everybody, for being here. We do appreciate it. We're at 22 with Denise and Ron Travels. <laughs> I'm not allowed to buy big house lots right now. Pam told me that she'll kill me, and it'll be my spirit in the place. <laughs> We're at 24 with JRKR. Let me get you a pillow. There you go. <laughs> Squishy. So we're at $24 with JRKR, looking for 26 or better. Denise and Ron, let us know. I did, Pat. I finally found it, and I actually deposited it. Merry Christmas, Pat. Thank you. Yep. Pam says, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Maybe, Eddie. We're at 28 with JRKR. We had 26 with Denise and Ron on the Chatty Cathy and Marie Osmond Beauty Bee Ball or Beauty Bug Ball. We're at 30. At least her eyes still work, and she has beautiful blue eyes. I want to sell that today. What? That picture. Kyle Tran's here. He'll like it. It's military. Probably only one of them in the world. I just have to go buy a box for it then. So we have 32 with JRKR, 34 with Denise and Ron, 40 with JRKR. Hello, <laughs> Bill. So we have JRKR in at 40. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Bruce, I have some stuff laying around. Tara Wren. Okay. <laughs> you are wrong. <laughs> I'm going to say Kyle T. I'm going to say KT. <laughs> Denise and Ron are out. Okay, let's uh, let's sell it to JRKR. Let's 
Okay. Going once, going twice, sold. Look, I'm fast like that. I'm going to skip behind you. I'm going to grab this military thing that I think is neat. Yep, got it. Okay, let's do this thing. I think this is, I can't tell if this is on the plastic or if it's on the picture. Let me see. So this was in that big photo lot that I just got. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm going to probably ship it rolled. It's going to come out of this frame. But I will show you guys what it is. I'm going to try to take it out of the frame while I'm sitting here with you guys. Don't do this at home. We can only do this because I haven't sold it to you yet. It is a map. It's got plexiglass or plastic over top of it. See if you can pull this out. Okay, let's throw the frame away. Into the dumpster with the frame because the frame looks yucky. Okay, so this is on plastic or of some sort. It is marked. I'll take the camera and show it to you guys. Um, I believe most of the staining on it because it's on plastic could come off. But here it is Naval Special Warfare West Coast, NAB Coronado, San Diego, California, 25th of April, 1995. Not super old, but. Mark for Navy SEAL, Naval Special Warfare. Can you grab me a, do we have a handy wipe? So we're going to do a $10 start because I thought this was interesting. And my guess is they're probably not available to the public. So locator, chartlet, reference chart, SEAL Team 3 right there. Underwater demolition, and then just take your wipe over top of that. We're going to see if we can clean this. Sure. Yep. So because it's plastic, ooh, that's cool. Does it go over a palm tree? Let's see if it... Wow. Look at that. Comes off, whatever this is. Yep. So it does come off. Not sure if the soda ate through like the, the the tanning of the color. It looks like somebody spilt the soda on it. Is what it looks like. Because it seems like when you wipe it off, it it actually goes down to like bare plastic. Okay. Unless the whole thing is supposed to be that color. But that didn't happen there, so my guess is that's not the case. So United States Navy. So very cool. Designed and drawn by Freddie F. Frog, Triple F. 116 of 1000. DOG class 11. Oh, wait, 118. So just a kind of a neat California military piece that I had no clue what it was, but figured. Why not try to sell it? So Naval Special Warfare West Coast. Underwater demolition. Glorietta Bay. It's got cool pictures of seals. So we have 25 with Kyle. Woodbine Girl says use water. Oh, okay, Cindy. Yeah, I thought so. I was like, I don't remember selling any spoons, but I'll look. Yeah, we're usually good. Like uh, everything right now, every single item that's been paid for, except for yesterday's auctions, have been shipped. So we have Kyle in at 25. And like I said, it is an acid like a plastic so can definitely roll it like so and ship it in a poster tube 
should not hurt it. And your 75 perimeter fencing gives you Guam, Honolulu, Sweto, McTeams, Danny. Uh, so nice little river. Somebody says just use water instead of a post-it note. Instead of a handy wipe. I think whatever this stuff was, it's like probably a soda spilled on it would be my guess. So I think that's actually what eats into the color. So we're at 30. United States Naval Special Warfare Command. So kind of neat. It was in the palette of photography that I got. It is the absolute only thing that is new, newer in that palette from 1995. Still 25 years old, but. So we have 30 with picking, painting, and other stuff. Looking for any advance. Very cool. Just, just the fact that it's Navy SEALs is pretty awesome. Are we sold? Go in twice. Gonna roll it up. It will come to you rolled. I said you probably could figure out a way to clean it a lot better than we are. You guys. Okay. Sold, sold, sold. Congratulations. Okay, we got some cards over here. Let's do some cards. There's a box of cards. Let's see what it is. Uh, it looks like Notre Dame number one through 200. So this is both series, first series, and second series. Full sets. Here is another one through 100, series one. Full set with Joe Montana. Another full set, Notre Dame cards. Ooh. Let's look at these first, and then I'll go to the cards that are in the sleeves. So this is number 101 through 200. It's another first series set. Another second series set. First series, second series, first series, second series. Okay. So we have five first series sets, four second series sets, and then one of both. Uh, $20 start on this lot. And then here are the other cards. Golden State Warriors, Troy Murphy. Um, this one's a numbered card, number 1209 of 1500. Uh, here's a pog thing of Jerome Betis. Here is a Maurice Stavell gridiron gear player timeline. So that's a piece of his jersey. Number 94 of 250. Uh, here's an autograph John Latner card. Johnny Latner. Here's an autograph of somebody, but I don't know who that is. So he was a Notre Dame player, number 10. Here is another Topps debut, 2002. Anthony Weaver from the Senior Bowl. It's a piece of his jersey. Here is a Rodney Culver number five redemption card. Here's a Ricky Waters number 50 redemption card from Wild Card. Here's another Troy Murphy card. Here is Ryan Humphrey. And here are two Ryan Humphrey rookie cards. And these are from Upper Deck. I believe it's Upper Deck SP. And here is a Monty Williams card. So a couple jersey cards, a whole bunch of sets of Notre Dame, a couple autographs in this box. Pretty good size lot. So you're looking at at least five sets of each first and second series. I think there's six, six sets of her series, and then you have all the individual 
autographed and jersey cards. And whoever that is. And then individually numbered cards. So 25 with Ray. No NASCAR man. Yep, no NASCAR man. Hi, Derek. <laughs> yeah, sex sets. Maybe. The the sets are 1990 Notre Dame. They're from like the collegiate sets. So Joe Montana was in that year, or in that set of cards. Obviously, he wasn't playing that year because he was in the NFL at that time. Twenty nine with Dan Dollar Ray. But you're getting at least five full first and second series sets you're getting an extra first series set and then you're getting all the other miscellaneous jersey and autograph cards and whatever else is in there and while we're doing cards i'll do another card lot next because they made me another one of those three thousand count boxes full of cards Ten dollar ray in at twenty nine. Ooh, gonna be a steal. Thirty at thirty. Have to be at thirty one. Two dollar increments. If we're looking for thirty one curry. Oh, ten dollar ray is in at thirty two. There we go. So we're at thirty two with Ray. Once we hit fifty, it's five dollar increments. $2 increments up to 50 though. So we're looking for 34. Yep. Especially the two jersey cards that are numbered. So we're at 36. We're at 40 with Ray. You're the ghost again. Hey, buddy. Ray is out. I think it's just Sandal Ray. Okay, we have Ray in at 40. Going once. Too bad we're missing Sarah and Jackie today. The next lot, I think it's good because... When Cody was making it, I believe he asked me some questions. He's like, He's like, what about these ones on sleeves? Should I just put them? And I was like, just put them in there. It doesn't matter. Call. Last call for alcohol. No, Pam, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. It's <laughs> all for 40. <laughs> Sold, 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 sold. Ten dollar right, forty dollars. Okay, right. we're gonna do another lot of mystery cards. Cody's taking these out of the five thousand count boxes and making these boxes. Okay, so you have a uh, whatever it costs to ship one of these. Twenty bucks, twenty dollars starting bid. Allen and Ginther's card, some kind of little metal coin. Brett Saberhagen. I think he asked me about this. So this is an older, like, fold open. Ken Harrelson, Cleveland Indians from Tops. This was like an insert in the pack, I believe. You get those. There are football cards. Derek Brooks, Edge, McIver, Leonard Russell. I don't know who I'm looking for in these. So just so you guys know. Anything newer than... Uh, probably newer than 1990, I will have no clue on. 
So these are all edge football. Uh, in the box, there are football, hockey, and baseball, I believe. I don't think I saw any basketball. I could be wrong. There might be some basketball. There's Brett Favre. I don't know who he is. I'm just going to grab randomly from each one of the areas. Here's some of the ones that have sleeves, so I'll grab that. Okay, so you got LeBron James, uh, Bill Russell. That's an insert card of some sort, Bill Russell. Let's see, Bill, BR60. Tyrone Stowe. That one's pretty. That is a Topps Bowman Chrome. And then it says right there, Refractor. Allen Iverson. There's Sammy Sosa. Oh, there's King Griffey Jr. Rookie in Upper Deck, number one. 1989 Upper Deck. Turn them this way. Let's see what else we got. Your big winner for Fathead, Manny Ramirez. AR62, so that's some kind of a insert card. Michael Young, Tori Hunter, Lay, Martin Prado. There's an old Hulk Hogan wrestling card from 1985 or 1995. I can't read it. Can't read it. But Hulk Hogan. Here's a different Bill Russell, another Bill Russell, another Bill Russell. So these are all insert cards, Bill Russell. Troy Percival, Vernon. Sorry, I guess I should do that. Danny Putnam. Let's get to more of the ones that have sleeves on them. That means they're probably better, right? Almond Green. That one says Refractor on it. That means it's sparkly. Jason Giambi. Ryan Howard. Josh Childress. There's a 1990 Upper Deck Juan Gonzalez rookie. Matt Harvey Panini Prism rookie card. Gary Sheffield, rookie card from 89 Upper Deck. See you, Phil. See you tomorrow. Dwight Smith, Jason Barlett. Um, Roger Staubach's OJ Simpson card. <laughs> it's funny. And then the back is a John Elway card. So there's two cards in that sleeve. Here's a funky looking Mike Piazza card, rookie of the year. Ultra Pro. Number six of six. Here's Michael Jordan. Purple at 80. Ray Here's another Michael Jordan. 1992. Here's another Jordan. Two more Jordans. And let's get to the other side. Let's grab grab these. These look shiny. I like shiny. Just had this thing about shiny cards. So these are top's finest. That one looks a little different than the other ones. So a whole bunch of tops finest hockey over here. And there are two layers of cards. I know he put whatever was in the sleeves on the top layer. So see, I know some of the players from 1989 because that's... That's back when I was. That's back when I was looking at cards back in the eighties. And obviously, I'm from down south. I'm from North Carolina, so anything Jordan would have caught my eye. I wish I still had. I used to have unopened boxes of Star, like the blue Michael Jordan rookie card years. Unopened boxes of those packs, because down there we could find those pretty easily. And I probably had, I don't know, 80 or 90 boxes at one point in time. 
now the Jordan card out of those are worth like eight to ten grand if it grades high enough. Purple Lily at one thirty five. So I remember when that used to be a real good card, Gary Sheffield and Juan Gonzalez. I remember looking for those. And here, just so you guys can see condition on the Griffey. Yeah, you know, this used to be a pretty good card. This is probably Dollar gradable. And I would say that that, that Griffey's gradable. Sure. That one right here. Yeah, I just took out the Elway card. Okay, Griffey's going into a hard sleeve. So I'll put Griffey in a hard sleeve for you guys. Took out the Elway and the OJ Simpson. Okay, and LeBron James, and then there was an Allen Iverson from whatever year that was. It looked like it was an old card, but it wasn't. And Sammy Sosa. Sammy Sosa cards were real hot for a while. So roughly around 3,000 cards, you know, we'll say 2,800 just in case he didn't pack them super tight, but look, they're shiny. Like I said, you guys, you get whatever whatever comes in these boxes. I mean, you've seen the other warehouse. There's millions of cards. I'm just making boxes out of them and selling them to you guys. Unless we get back into the 60s and that, like Mantles and Maris and stuff like that, all this other stuff doesn't really matter to me. I think the only card I would pull if I happened to see one would be a, a Jordan rookie. Everybody else, I really don't care. Joey Galloway. More Joey Galloway. It's actually some good players. Like I watch a little bit of football. I should pull these up and lay these on the top. So Sam's at 150, and he kept betting himself up. So do you want to? Okay, so we have we have Sand Dollar Ray in at 150. Yeah. So we're at 150 with Sand Dollar Ray. Oh, he's not betting himself. <laughs> yeah, Ray, you don't got to bid yourself up. I mean, we know you want it. It's okay. <laughs> I was just waiting for Brian to bring the mic over so we could fix it. Yeah. So we're at 150 with Sand Dollar Ray. <laughs> and there's probably some hidden treasures down there in the bottom so like I said I usually just have my son put this stuff in in these boxes because there's probably 3 million cards at the other warehouse and I don't know what any of it is and it takes too long to go through it <laughs> we saw you said I saw you said something it's okay Jenny it's okay he might we got have not it. noticed. That's all. I'll never charge Ray more than he bids. Guaranteed to win if you bid yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so we're at 150 with Ray. I believe Anthony is out on the slot. So we're looking for 160 or better on the slot of sports cards. And we have 96 people here. Thank you, everybody, again, for being here. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. Yep, a rainstorm coming. Yeah, it's going to rain tomorrow. A lot of rain. <laughs> going twice. We're with Ray at 150 on this lot of almost 3,000 cards, including the Griffey Rookie. And some Jordans and, some, and an OJ Simpson card. 
Mark, I might be able to get to some. I'm going to clear off what's on the table first, and then we can get to some other items. Sold the sand dollar Ray for 150 150 for Ray. Congratulations, Ray. There you go. Okay, there's this giant box on the table. Here it is. Where's all my glass, people? This came out of that estate. Marilyn Delgado, please be in the room. And there she likes this stuff. She just picked up stuff today and she's driving back. Okay, these are really, really pretty. It is Mikasa. Mikasa Fine China Rosetta. But super pretty, delicate porcelain. Uh, I can honestly say I really haven't dug through the box. But I can tell you there's these tiny little ones. That one just is made in China. It's by, it's a different pattern. But here is the Mikasa. You're going to get whatever porcelain's in this box. Just because Brian's not necessarily all that great with that stuff. What's even cooler is when the guy packed it up for me out of the house. So here's four of these cups. I thought this was all this one thing. He put a bunch of it inside of linens and doilies and fabric stuff. Okay, Mark. Sorry. We have some walking old hats and stuff on the table. We have a few things in front of us. Yep. So we're we have five of these. Okay, I'm trying to do this because it's the biggest thing on the table, this box. So here's more of these little china cups. Here is a pitcher from the Mikasa set. Uh, we're going to do $30 start on this because it is heavy. And it looks like it's a bunch. This is a bunch, a bunch, a bunch. That's beautiful. So far, there are seven of those Mikasa teacups with the rose. Eight of those cups. No, this just to be a good pattern. Nine of these cups. Yep. Here, I'll just show you the bottom of one of these. Here's the plates. Right here. My Casa Fine China Rosetta. If Tamara's listening, I think Tamara likes this stuff too. They were pretty. Plates. Here is 10 of the cups, right? Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of those cups. Here are the little saucers for the tiny cups. They're by somebody different. Here are bowls. Here's another one of those cups. That's 11. Here's a covered sugar dish. Wow, this is an awesome set. If this is a pass, guys, just let me know it's a pass, and I'll stop pulling stuff out. There's another little one. So here you have... Another, the saucers. Okay. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dinner plates. So these are eight of the large dinner plates. So there's definitely some good money there. There's eight of those. There are two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, nine, ten of these little bowls. 
So there's 10 of those bowls. For eight. So there's eight of these saucers. There are three, four, five, six, seven, eight dessert plate or bread plates. So there's definitely a service for eight plus some extra pieces uh, with a covered sugar and creamer. So I think a service for eight should be really good. So there's four, yeah, eight of the little berry bowls. The sugar and the creamer. And there's all of the little teacups. So you definitely have at least eight of everything from this set. Plus you have extras in case something gets chipped or damaged or broken. So I'm going to say it's an eight piece set, even though there are more than there than eight serving. Cause I have, I have eight cups in there right now. So you're getting three extra cups. But to be safe because of the U.S. Post Office. Well, actually, this will go UPS anyway. We're going to say it's a service for eight. Plus, there are six of these six of these little saucers for this other pattern. You're going to get those. And the six little, well, you get five little espresso type cups from this other company. So we're at 60 with Russell on an eight service set of Mikasa Rosetta. What? Retarded Russell here and at 60. She puts 50 down here. Scroll up. 62. He jumped yep. right to So we have Russell Parker in at 60. Yeah, somebody is in at 52. Janine. Scroll up. The 52 is Chris Law. Yep. Yep. Okay. So we have Chris Law in at 50. We have Russell in at 60. Yeah. Oh, they're saying it wasn't a valid bid because she didn't bid $5 bid. That's uh, why. Okay. I see. I see what we got. So Chris, if you want to be in, it has to be in at 55. And it is a service for eight of Mikasa. Plus, you're going to get some of this linen-y stuff with it because I'm going to use some of it to wrap the stuff in. And this stuff is really pretty, too. And this stuff's probably worth as much as the, the set. Look at the embroidery. It was in the box when I showed it to you guys, so you get it. <laughs> Thank you, Mama G. So this has got a cool pattern on it. This is a big like uh, tablecloth, like a square tablecloth, all embroidered. All this is all the work done. Here's the back of it. So you get that in there with it. And look, there's even napkins for those. That's probably. So you get there's one napkin. Here's two napkins. They had it all in one box. So here's three napkins for the embroidery and the tablecloth. Four napkins. Five, six napkins. Tony's in at 60. Russell Parker in at 75. Pillowcase. We're just going to use those as packing between these things. And then when we pack them, we'll pack them a little better. And then there is a beautiful white on white tablecloth. This is worth more than the bid currently. Look at this. 
This is a large like banquet table size. Everybody's like, no, don't sell that with it. So it's got like these cool medallions. White on white with a ruffled edge. And it's a large one. So that is part of the slot as well. It's a nice big lot. Eight service of Mikasa Rosetta. We need bubble wrap, not linens. <laughs> oh, you'll get bubble wrap, don't worry. We got lots. Wait till you see all the bubble wrap you get, Samara. <laughs> you can, uh, you get one. So we're at 75 with Russell. Samara, I thought you liked linens. <laughs> so we're at 75 with Russell. Eight piece service of the Mikasa. Beautiful pink roses. Scalloped edge, gold leaf. <laughs> Going quiet. So it's a service for eight, plus a bunch of other stuff. Hello, Spencer. Yeah, this was just a bigger, heavier box. Sold the Russell for 75. <laughs> okay, sold, sold, sold. China set out of the warehouse. I'm not a big fan of glass and stuff, so I'll try to sell it to you guys in big lots. Okay. Ooh, we're getting over to the rock and rolly stuff. You probably can't move that box. I might have to move it for you. Because the bottom of it, you got to reach underneath. Yeah. You sure? Okay. okay, so here's a whole box of, I think these are the ones they told me to look for. Okay. So Harlequin paperback books. So these are Harlequin uh, romance, maybe Harlequin mystery, Harlequin, I, I don't know. I can barely count to potato, so reading's kind of above my pay grade. So Harlequin presents. This whole book is full of paperback books. I believe they're all Harlequin. So let's start it out at $20. I know somebody told me Harlequin is good, so I think that's what we put in this box was all the Harlequin. I'll pull them out, and then I'll do a count as I put them back in. But to give you guys an idea, there's a lot. So $20 start on all of the Harlequin paperback novels. Let's see if I can find you a year of any sort. Nineteen eighty one on this one, first printing. Looks like seventies and eighties. So $20 start on all the Harlequin mysteries or Harlequin romance or whatever they are. Harlequin. <laughs> oh, come on, Tamara. I can let those down. You can let them. You're strong.
This box is pretty light, actually. Okay, so these are all Harlequin Mystery, or Harlequin Romance, whatever. So, do you guys need to know the names of them, or just a count? So right here's 20 in the stack that I have over here. Okay. So there's 40. I have 40 over here. I'll know for next time to make them even smaller for you, Tamara. No worries. Sorry about that. Okay, so there's 60. That equals 80 right there. Okay. So there's a hundred. Hundred and four, six, and seven, eight, and nine, and ten. One hundred and fourteen. One hundred and fourteen Harlequin romance paperback novels. Great reseller lot. I know some individual ones are really rare. I just don't know which ones. Midwest picker at forty. But 114 pieces in this lot. I gotta make the nice boxes lighter. Well, let's see how we figure. Oh, uh, the ones for the magazines in them? So you're getting 114 Harlequin romance books. No problem, Tamara. I got you. I won't forget. <laughs> yeah, Pam usually gets to make the boxes, so she can move them. Lucky Brian didn't make those boxes. He'd have put it all in one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, if it ain't 60 pounds, I don't feel it. So 114 Harlequin romance books. You guys are going to miss out on this lot. Well, he's in a 42. It's going to be a steal. So, 114 Harlequin Romance. And they're all in great shape. 44 with snapper. So you have snapper in. So we have 50 with purple lily. You guys are still under 50 cents a piece delivered to your door. Spencer, everybody loves a good romance novel. It's 114 total pieces plus shipping to your door. We're at $50. We're at 55 I hear you, Tamara. 60 with purple lily. 
Pam strong like bull. Strong like bull. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Cute like platypus strong like bull. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> she has these metal water bottles, and every time I say something, I'm hoping she's not holding one in her hands. Because they hurt. Gainy ceramics stuff. Uh, I don't know. Can't say I've ever looked for it. So I wouldn't know if I find it. I usually try to stay away from the breakable stuff, even though it comes in houses. But I used to have people that would just come and buy all of the glass and pottery and porcelain, which was really nice. So we're at 70 with Purple Lily for 114 pieces. It looks like Snapper's out. I'm going to start putting these back in the box, guys. Oh, uh, uh, cool. Can't say that I've ever seen them in my life here. So 114 Harlequin romance books for seventy dollars with purple lily. Yeah, I can't say I've ever seen one here, um, Spencer. You never know what Brian finds. Yep. We had a bunch of California pottery and Catalina Island stuff. I'll start putting these in the box. You guys are still bidding. 114 Harlequin books. I believe we're at $7. Sold, sold, sold. Wait just a second, guys. I'll get all these off the table. See, look, I'm making them pretty in the box. Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. You're just in time. We're going to do some toys in a minute. Do some rock and roll stuff, some toys. So, Lily, I think this was a great buy. I think there's a lot of money to be made on these. Even at five bucks a piece for the common ones. Okay, there you go. Um, I'm almost done with what's on the table, so it's possible. Okay, so there's some fabric. Pam, can you start showing them that fabric? Pam's going to show you that little bit of fabric. I thought I had another tray of fabric. I was going to try to grab for you guys to add it to it. You have more up there? Okay, so Pam's showing you guys some of the other fabric. Hopefully I didn't walk too far away and get disconnected. So $10 start on this lot. Okay. Yep. So that's shiny. Mm -hmm. Kind of like, like velour. Mm -hmm. What is that, velvet? Okay. <laughs> so very shiny with like a... A backing on it. 
have white with like delicate flowers. This is a thin sheer yellow. We have red that's probably polyester the way it feels like kind of like dry fit material. And we have probably two yards of this, whatever this design is, this pattern. I don't see anything on the salvage edge, but a nice big piece of that. Nope. It's too heavy. Well, that that brocade is really heavy. I mean, that brocade piece weighs about 15 pounds. To add it to a box for $10. This is it's really soft. So like some kind of a liner material. This is probably velvet right here. Whatever that says. It's the tag that was on it. We have, this is like a, uh, there you go. See that one pretty nice now. That's a pretty big piece. Do we have any bids, any interest? Yep, where is it at that? Okay, export, import. So I'm gonna tag here. So it's probably from the 70s or 60s or there. And here is the last piece in this slot. Nice big piece. It's a pinstripe pattern. Reminds me of like suit, suit pants. So you guys can see it's a pretty good size piece and it's folded over like four times. Yeah, no worries. This isn't bad. Yeah, the other, the other two pieces she brought me were quite heavy. They, the two pieces that are over there, weigh more than this whole stack. It's just the type of fabric. No, I didn't. No, doesn't smell musty to me at all. And Pam's a bloodhound. Like cigarette smoke, musty odor, mold, forget it. Doesn't make it in the door. She calls me on the phone and she's like, I know you just cleaned out that house. I can smell it. Don't bring it here. I'm like, what? She's 26 miles away and she can tell. Yep, no musty odor. We're at seventeen dollars with Chris Law. So nice big group of fabric. So looking for any advance. Like you, the card. Yeah, you can only fit a tiny bit of fabric in a flat rate box. Roll it. Maybe. Try one and see what we can happens. try it. Tamara's out. Thank you, Tamara. So we're at $17 with Chris Law on this entire lot of fabric. Oh, yeah. Here. Gonna combine these two sports slots into one. 
it's just one bigger sports lot. I could put this toy thing with this other tray lot of toys. Okay. Where are we at? Going once, going twice. Last call. Chris Law. $17. Congratulations, Chris. Okay, whole box of whatever Pam put in here, but it looks like all sports stuff. We have one thing of glasses, and then we're to concert things and toys. So Phillies, little baseball cap, New York Yankees, Boston Red Sox, and New Britain Rock Cats. Little plastic caps. Uh, $20 start on this box, guys. So starting lineup figure of Samuel. Starting lineup figure of Willie Stargell. Starting lineup figures of Guillermo. Clemens, Roger Clemens. Starting lineup. I'm not sure what that's for. It says Tony Gwynn. Don't see anything Tony Gwynn yet. Here's Jim Jackson and another card, Christian Layton. Here's a lenticular Kurt Schilling card. Magnet thing. Uh, Nebraska Huskies dashboard grips for iPhones. Not sure what that is. Uh, New York Yankees. Little sunglasses, probably for a kid, like if you went to the stadium, like a handout. A carded Terry Steinbach starting lineup. A New York 1996 American League Champions book. Sports Illustrated the year in sports hardback. 1979, a shut authentic mini helmet for the Rock Cats, a Cubs Cub, <laughs> it's Cub Bear, <laughs> baseball book, what? <laughs> baseball Legends. Hardcover book. Nineteen eighty eight calendar from Shea Stadium. Nineteen seventy eight Mets official program. I didn't even look at these to see if any of them are signed or anything, guys. So I know some of the stuff that we have is signed, but it takes too long to actually look. <laughs> So 1978 program. You have a 1989 Mets. 1989 New York Mets. Some kind of little beads that say Milwaukee Brewers on them. A metal splendid splinter Ted Williams card thing. A Cubs baseball in the package. Another Cubs baseball in the package. Uh, Chicago Cubs champions, 1907, and then a little Cubs pin, a New York Mets 1987 official scorebook, Mets magazine from 1990 scorebook, Mets 2008, a hardcover baseball legends of all time book. This is kind of cool. 1994 has all the old players in it. Ernie Banks, Richie Ashburn, Johnny Bench, Yogi Berra, Wade Boggs. Another New York Mets 1988 official scorecard, scorebook. Beckett Football Card Monthly from 1991. I used to use that to price cards. Beckett Tribute, issue number one, Nolan Ryan. Game Face Cleveland Indians, number 153070 out of 160,000, 1993. Oh, these are cool. Never saw these before. Donruss updated for 1988 trades, team collection, puzzle and cards, the Chicago Cubs. So, like, uncut card sheets of 1988 Donruss. Here's the Mark Grace rookie. 
that was the good card that year. And there's the puzzle that used to get in the packs unpunched. That's amazing. I didn't even know they made this. So you probably got this at Wrigley Field. There's two of those. And here is a little baseball bat and little ball. And it says All-Star Fan Fest Los Angeles Times. So you get all of that stuff for one money. These are awesome. Never seen these before. Like I said, these were probably given out at the stadium on like, you know, a special card day or something like that. So you get everything for one price. We're at one with Saxton Cole. Okay, Twenty dollars with Saxton Cole. 1978 program. Lots of New York Mets. Another hardcover with the dust jacket. The two Cubs baseballs. 1979 hardcover Sports Illustrated. New York Brewers beads. Huskers. Chicago Cubs pen. Another Chicago Cubs pen. Kurt Schilling. A couple cards. Chicago Cubs plushie. New York Yankees. Sunglasses for some kid. Starting lineups. Nice lot of baseball hats. 1996 starting lineup figure. And the other helmet. It's a nice lot of sports collectibles in there for you. All for one money. Trying to make sure the box is full. Once we get some bids, I'll add some more sports stuff to it. So I see some more laying around out here. Here is a. This is wrapped in like twine. But Yankee Doodle Dandy. It's like somebody made this kind of like a collage bottle. Jeff Bagwell Micro Stars, 1992. Dave Justice Micro Stars, 1992. Randy Johnson. Mark Langston. Barry Larkin, MicroStars. And here's another MicroStars figure. Kenny Lofton. The box is pretty full. Okay. Any advance on $32? Here's an ESPN enabled universal remote control with whoever BC is with the Eagles, like a, a bird on it in the package and a Minnesota twins, Los Angeles Dodgers, 1965 world series signed by Duke Snyder right there. So signed by Duke Snyder right here at the bottom, 1965 world series program. Minnesota Twins, Los Angeles Dodgers. Let's see if anybody else signed it. Okay, Boston College. Herman Killebrew is in here.
Here's the American League pennant winners, Minnesota Twins, 1965. Teams, uh, team image in that yearbook. For that World Series program, sorry. Here's the roster. There's some tape marks on the inside. Willie Davis, Willie Crawford, Don Drysdale. Sandy Koufax. There's the Los Angeles Dodgers 1965 team. Pretty cool. World Series book, and it is signed right there at the bottom by Duke Schneider. But that makes a nice full box. Okay. Nice, Spencer. Yeah, you're telling me. I probably have, I think I'm missing 25 packages from December 14th. They just, they didn't scan them when they were here. And we didn't force them to because uh, they were training that day. And all of them are showing as missing in action. Shows that we created the labels and everything, but that's where they stopped. And that's just from one day. So luckily, everything that we've been selling on YouTube's pretty much been going UPS. It seems to be doing okay. We started doing UPS a couple weeks ago. So we have Scott Eifler in at $42 on this entire box. A lot of sports stuff. We're at 44 with Vintage Treasures. Yeah, there's, what? what is it, 8 or 10 tractor trailers sitting here in Allentown? Yeah. Yeah, there's 8 or 10 tractor trailer loads of unsorted mail sitting in Allentown. Not the training. They just don't have enough people. Yep. They're out of people, unfortunately. So we're at 46 with Scott, 48 with Vintage Treasures. And it is a large box of all sports stuff. Okay, here's the last thing on the table before we get to the rock and roll concert t-shirts and hats. What? Their local UPS UPS shut down so they can deliver packages. They should try doing that with the post office. Yeah. I saw that somewhere on the news actually. So we're at 50 with Scott Eifler. <laughs> that Vintage is Treasures is out. Scott is in at $50. Let's go in once. Go in twice. Go ahead and move it along. Janine, you can just sell it to Scott for 50 So I don't know what our lag looks like on that back end. Okay, Scott Eifler at 50. Okay, here's the last box that is on the table before we get to the concert shirts and that. Um, I don't know what shirts are over there. So here's a Captain Crook, McDonald's, 
shirt, 1977. Here is a Miss Piggy, The Great Muppet Caper from McDonald's, 1981. $10 start. Oh, this is awesome. 1985 Titan Sports. Hulkamania glass. That's cool. Here's a Mickey Mouse mug. Glass mug, Mickey Mouse. That's really heavy, too. Look, Spuds McKenzie from Bud Light wearing a Christmas sweater. It's pretty cool. Nice glass crystal mug. And here's a giant congratulations. It looks like it's for a baby shower from Snoopy. 1965, 1958. And that's a giant Snoopy glass. So you get Snoopy, Buds McKenzie, Miss Piggy, Captain Crook, and Hulk Hogan. What a great mixed lot of glasses. Cindy at 20. So 20 with Cindy, 22 with Glenn. Snapper at 24. This glass is huge, too. Like, I can fit my whole fist in it. That's a man drinking glass right there. Snoopy! Nice. Yes, I know. I judge the size of everything if I can fit my fist in it or not. So we are 24 with Snapper. And again, the Hulkamania glass is awesome. The condition. So we're at 24 with Snapper. Sorry, guys. Glenn is out. I'm going to start wrapping these up. You guys can bid if you want. This one's huge. For a baby shower. It's funny. Thank you. Tried to move the mic, so it wasn't so bad for them. <laughs> then the Christmas Spuds McKenzie. Okay, I'll leave spuds on the table. I'm sure everybody knows what they're getting. So we have Jabby's in at 26. We're at 30 with Christopher Chatworth, 32 with Jabby's, 35 with Chris, 38 with Jabby's Treasures. Chris Chatworth with the sneak attack. Yep. Chris comes in with the sneaker. So we are at 38 with Jabby's Treasures. We're at 40 with Chris Chatworth. 45 with Jabby's. Chris is out.
45 with Jebby Strings. And Jebby, if you could just email me, because um, I don't think that I have your email address on file. Uh, Rise, I do not have any uranium glass that I know where it's at. Uh, Jadeite, I might have some. That's my uranium glass. So Pam says she might have some uh, uranium glass. <laughs> I can bring it next week if you want. I know where it is. <laughs> More now. <laughs> okay, going once, going twice. If Jabby's at 45. Sold. Sold, sold, sold. 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 Okay. Let's do a concert shirt from that load. This is a single stitch. Where's Matt Romero at today? Yep. So it has a stain on it. I didn't take time to wash any of this. So this is 1988. It is a single stitch tee. It is a ch -ch -ch -ch, a screen stars extra large. Okay, no problem. So screen stars extra large. The friends of Hudson. So this is one big day at the Morgan Bowl. So it is face to face with special guest Extreme. So Extreme when they were not a cover band. Uh, it's hair ticks, flesh, dharma bums, and childhood. It is a single stitch, screen stars shirt. It is, oh, no graphics on the back, and extra large. So $10 start. Produced by John McLennan and Gary Summers. Yep, I got it then, Javi. It's like a yellowish. Usually has like an opalescent at the top. It's usually yellow with like a white rimming around the top edge. Mm -hmm. So nice concert t-shirt. Saxton says pass. So Extreme and Dharma Bums are both featured on this in Face to Face. Single Stitch T. And Saxton, I still have your posters over here. I sent out your trains the other day. So Kenneth is in at 10. So we have Kenneth in at $10 on the single stitch concert t-shirt, 1988. Guys are missing out on this marketplace. So we have $10. Kenneth, we'll give it the going once. Oh, no problem, Saxon. We'll go out tomorrow. Yep. Pam said we'll ship it tomorrow. So we're at ten dollars, Ken Roddenberry. Going once on the single stitch. Vintage concert shirt. And it is a screen star shirt, which is better. Sure, no problem. Okay, looking for any advance. We're missing our Brian Maroney today. Going twice. Okay. 
Sold. Great buy, Kenneth. Good money to be made there. Good, good money to be made there. Okay, I'll do one more shirt that's here. Ten dollar start. Ringwood Old Thumper Brewery. So this is a beer shirt. It is a double stitch. It is a large shirt. This is the back hit on it right here. Ten dollar start. That's shipped on the front. Hand brewed by Kenny Bunkport Brewing Company, Kenny Bunkport, Maine. So there's the logo on the back. So there is no label in it. Somebody cut it out. It is definitely a large or extra large in size, though. So looking for a $10 start on the brewery shirt. Spencer, do I have any magic cards? I don't think I have any magic cards, Spencer. I think I have some Yu-Gi-Oh, some Digimon, and then I have the Pokemon collection that I just got in. So, beer shirt, looking for a $10 start. Any interest? On the vintage beer shirt. Snapper jumps in at 12. Thank you, Snapper. Old Dumper Brewery. So we're looking for any advance on 12 on the brewery shirt. Yep, toys are going to come up next, Cindy. Move some of them around to the table. No problem. Avalanche, Toya Lynch. We're twelve dollars with Snapper. Looking for any advance? Sold the Snapper for twelve dollars. Sold the Snapper. Okay, Toy Lot coming up. Diecast Metal, Ertl, 1917 Agway Bank. Pretty large truck. A Ertl 50th anniversary for commemorative with it's a bank, Diecast Bank. Texaco Collector Series number six, 1925 Mac Bulldog Lubricant Truck Bank. We have a uh, $25 start because there's a bunch, and these are heavy. Anheuser-Busch 1936 Ford panel truck, so for Anheuser-Busch Brewery, very cool. Locking coin bank. We have a 1951 Ford F6 fuel tanker. This is a first, excuse me, first gear truck. And this is for uh, Sahio Aviation, I believe. I'll pull this one out, show it to you guys. Yep. Here is the truck. There's the mirrors. It's never been put together. So Sahio Aviation. An oil truck. 
with the box and the barrel. We have another Hurdle Agway 11th edition 1996 pickup truck. This is a 1936 Dodge pickup limited edition. And then last but definitely not least is this giant airplane. Pull it out. Pepsi Cola diecast airplane. Almost looks like one of the old Hubleys, the fold up wings. But scale models, Dyersville, Iowa. Does look like they used to take the old Hubley molds because it's got the fold down landing gear. Pepsi Cola. It's pretty cool. Nice big lot. And here's the sleeve for that box Pepsi airplane. Airplane's awesome. And it's big. So, most of these trucks are a little over six inches in size. And they are all die cast metal. One, two, three, four, five. So six trucks and one airplane. So seven total pieces. I'm willing to bet that this first gear truck's pretty good. Sahio Aviation. So Anheuser Busch. Agway, seven pieces total. Shipped. So we have Snapper in at 49. Yep, we have Snapper in at 49. Curry, it's $2 bids up to 50, and then $5 bids after that. So we're at 49 with Snapper on all of the Ertl diecast and the first gear truck and the Pepsi airplane. So seven total pieces. Thank you for letting us know you're out. Any advance on all the diecast toys? Texco truck. Seven pieces. Four, five, six, seven, eight, 
$49 with Snapper looking for 51 or better. It has to be 51, and then after that, it has to go to 56. 51 with Sand Dollar Ray. Now we're at $5 increments. So we need 56 or better. So we're at $51 with Sand Dollar Ray, looking for 56 or better. Right, $2 increments up to 50 snappers. So since you were in at 49, you can do the $2, makes it 51, and then, then we would be up at 56 would be the next increment. Yep. $5 over 50 and then $10 over 100. So we're looking for $56 next for the seven pieces. <laughs> yep. If you had to put 50, then it would have to be 55. So we're at 51 currently looking for 56. It was a good plan though. So we have Sand Dollar Ray in at 51 looking for 56 on the slot. It's a nice slot. Anheuser Busch, get Texaco. Got the Pepsi Airplane, Agway, the 50th anniversary, Ertl. Nice lot. Big lot of die casts. Heavy. Our chat flag, and I can see it. And then all of a sudden, yep. This computer too. We can bring that other, the other computer, the portable one, mm -hmm. out here and switch this one out. Fifty-six with, 56 with Snapper. <laughs> the snapper with the uh, the snipe bids. Nice. So we're at fifty-six with Snapper. Looking for 61 or better, 61 or better. Got a few more tray lots of toys here on the table. What lot number is this, Pam? 24 in the order right now. Okay. So we're at 56 with Snapper. Sand Dollar Ray is out. Scotty here, they let it go to voicemail, and it tells you that the voicemail is full, and nobody ever calls you back. Okay, going once. Ray is out. So we're at $56 with Snapper. And tomorrow is Christmas Eve, everybody, so we will not be having an auction tomorrow. Pam is going to go home as soon as packages are mailed out tomorrow. And my other guy is getting a half day off, so I probably will call it a day half day tomorrow as well. But we will make sure that everything that we have been paid for tomorrow is shipped. So you guys will see invoices. Um, I might send them tonight, but if not, I will send them first thing in the morning. Oh. Snapper. Okay, here's a cool box of toys and collectibles. So this is a blue M&M character radio with headphones. 
got the blue M&M headphones. And there's the little blue M&M guy. He is the radio. It's never been played. So blue M&M radio with M&M headphones. Kind of cool in the box. $15 start on this lot, guys. Uh, this is a great lot. There is a couple really good pieces. So this is Ziggy. Smile. It increases your face value from Aviva. So that is, let's try to see if there's a date, 1980 of Ziggy. Here's another Ziggy. Love is the answer no matter what the question. It's a little Ziggy Plex. Another Ziggy. It's not easy being a legend in your own time. You had a couple cars, a Hulk, a Silver Surfer. Uh, this is some kind of a wind-up car. Not too sure what it does. The doors look like they should open. Ah, there we go. They do open. You turn the key backwards. The doors open. Another little car. A dragster car. This one is Hot, Hot Wheels 1993. This is a promotional bank. So it is a Corvette promotional bank. Um, I believe it is from like 1974 because the first Corvettes were 53 and a half. So 54 would have been the first full year production. I think this is a 20th anniversary promo model bank, but it is done in metal. So it's like a brass bank by Banth Banthrico Incorporated, 1974 right there. Corvette, pretty awesome. The tires actually move. It is all metal. So you get all of that. We have any bids? Okay. And then the blue M&M radio. The Corvette car is really good. And then last part of this one is going to be a really early vintage graphoscope with the box. Look, let's see what did I here we go. Take off the sticker. I bought it at the flea market. This came from Sailorsburg. But that's what I can show it to you. Look, this is really early. So this goes up like this. It goes into here. And it is mint old stock. I mean, look at the paint condition. Here's the original label. Graphoscope. Here is the original instructions. Here's one of the filters. And here are the images that you got with it so that you can copy them. All like cartoon character images. A mouth, an ear. Oh, this is the dirty version. It even has the ass in it. And here are the other papers. So super cool. This is really early. So I would guess 40s on this. It may be a little bit earlier than that, but let's see if I see a year. Graphoscope. I love the old stuff that's like in minty, minty condition. There's the box for it. 
So a nice lot of toys and collectibles, including the brass Corvette bank, the 53 Corvette. So nice little lot. I'm away. <laughs> Send these out. Okay, we're at thirty dollars with Kyle. Looking for any advance. Nice lot of toys. But toys and M, &M radio or something like that. Nice buy, Kyle. That was a steal. You get more than that for the Eminem radio. Okay. Some die cast. Uh, Sterling Marlin race car driver car. Brooks and Dunn. Sterling Marlin. Diecast car. Let's see if it here. Limited edition. There's what this one says. Coors Light Brooks and Dunn 1999 Morning Carlo. That's the size of like a Hot Wheels car. And then you have these. These are much larger. So these are a different scale, 124th scale. These are by Action Racing Diecast. This is a bank for Je uh, Dale Jarrett. If you guys need to see these, let me know. But this is, they usually have like a sticker on them. Uh, it just says bank. But Dale Jarrett, this one is a $20. This is a 1997 Monte Carlo, one of 7,008 made, limited edition platinum series. Lowe's Mike Skinner race car. Diecast metal. Winston Cup, Action Racing, Adult Collectible. These things were super expensive when you tried to buy them originally. And then this one's larger. Yeah, this is Jimmy Spencer, number 23, Winston No Bull, 1998 Ford Taurus. Only 2,500 of this one made. And this one has a plastic action case right there. It's a great lot of NASCAR die cast. I know that back in the day, there used to be a store at the mall that sold, you know, these for 60, I think they were 68.99 to 199.99 per car. Crazy. So these are large, 124 scale. And this one's the size of a Hot Wheels car. So nice lot of racing. Is that all the racing we had? Combine these two, make them into one. Combine those two, make them into one. Yeah, these are all 124th, these three. This one just seems bigger, but I think it's just the case. So we're at 29 with Snapper. Want to start drinking some of that Crown Royal? I don't know my doctor. <laughs> I don't think they'd like that so much. You could probably see better if you're drunk. Possibly. Yeah, that's that's. Can you tell me the bottom line of letters? Sure. 
Hey. Spot at 31. A. Z. Yellow. Four. So we have Scott Eifler in at $34. We'll give or $31, I'm sorry. See, maybe I should go to the eye doctor. <laughs> you have your glasses on. I know. <laughs> maybe you should wear my glasses. Nope. I could see into the future. So we're at $31 for Scott Eifler on this lot of four. We're at 33 with Snapper. Del Jarrett, Mike Skinner, and who was the other one? Jimmy Spencer and Sterling Marlin. Those are the four racers. So we have 33 with Snapper. Waiting to hear from Scott Eifler. Scott's in at 35. We have 71 here. Thank you guys for being here. Snapper is out. Okay, we have Scott in at 35. You guys want to give him a fast count? And then, Pam, if you need to go, go ahead. I'm ready to do two more lots just to get it off the table. Next week, you guys, I'll have a preview up. Um, I'm going to try to put out two videos over this weekend. One showing the Pokemon and the other one showing the big photo collection. Okay, got I first sold. Okay. Here's the next lot. I'm going to make, I'm going to combine two into one so that we can have more stuff in the slot. Ertl Dime Bank, 1930 Chevy panel truck. Racing Champions, this one's really cool. Field and Stream. Beachcombers. A Fast and the Furious Brian's Nissan Skyline GTR. R34 in the box. We have a Road Champs, uh, $20 start on the slot. Road Champs Flyers Diecast Metal Airplane. Um, what is this? Corvette and Corvette Bonnie Designs. So it's got to be a Corvette of some sort. Oh, look. Santa Claus. Oh, Gigi. Santa Claus in a 53 or 54 Corvette by Amico Gas. Oil company. With the box that's die cast metal. I guess I should leave that out so you guys can see it. We have a Coca Cola matchbox on the card MGF 1.8. A Holiday Hot Wheels Kringle Custom Holiday Vehicle Mattel 1997 Special Edition. Uh, this is the Reward Center. What does it say? Mastro Tonka diecast. So I guess this was like a QVC type thing. So it's like a little miniature Tonka diecast metal loader with moving parts. So there it is. It's up. Okay. We have. Another one, this one is a backhoe in yellow. Tonka. So you get that entire lot, and then there is a loose car. There's a card for it, but it has come loose. And the motor's in there.
and there's the car. So that's what you get in this lot. Put the three bigger pieces up front. Slide the tray right behind. There we go. That's what we're bidding on. We're at 40 with Sand Dollar Ray. Forty with Sand Dollar Ray. Yep. Oh, this is that one. Okay. Okay, this is lot number twenty seven. So we have Ray in at 50. Hello, Matthew. So we have Ray in at 50. So nice lot with the Tonka. Two little Tonka trucks, the Fast and the Furious car, the Hot Wheels Kris Kringle car, the die-cast Amico Corvette with Santa Claus driving. Too cold. I can see. You got to go for it. Yep. Behave yourself, Brian. Always behaved. Yeah. Don't forget your two bottles of Crown Royal. And then just ask Dave if he just wants me to take him out of your pay. So we're at 50 with Sand Dollar Ray. Any more interest in this lot? I'm going to start putting it back in the boxes. figures sitting right over there. I believe we are sold. We are sold for $50 to Ray. Toys and miscellaneous. Congratulations, Sandala Ray. Congratulations. Nice little lot. Okay. It's bothering me that this is sitting over here, so it's going to go in this lot. I probably will send invoices tonight. That way we can pack it tomorrow. Okay, so funky board, keyboard cover. You have this Eagle Moss. This is Animal Man. I'll see you later. Lead figure and then book by Eagle Moss. We have this really large Iron Man Tony Stark figure in the box by Toy Biz. 
There he is. Deluxe edition Tony Stark Techno suit. We have the Star Wars Deluxe Valentine's $25 start on the slot. $25 start. Star Wars Episode One. We have this Wonder Woman book. Where's Wonder Woman at today? So it's like a little like notebook, but also has uh, recreations of the old Wonder Woman toys and items in it. So pretty neat. I think it's on all the lettered pages. So, yep. So very cool. Color Forms Adventure Set, String Puppets. Showed the different Wonder Woman toys they made. Some of the other cool stuff. So Wonder Woman. We have a 1982 Batman Invitations to Party. There's another one of the funky keyboards. We have Adventures of Batman and Robin. Valentine's in the package. We have an old Shackman Victorian Valentine. An old Shackman Smiley, your positive enabler. That's just one tray so far. This is a good figure. This is McFarland's military series. This is the African-American version, so it's a chase variant of this figure. It's a really good figure. So this is the Armor, Army Ranger Arctic Operations by McFarlane. What else do we have? We have a glow-in-the-dark movie monsters, universal monster, glows in the dark by Uncle Milton. Bubble is split right there. It is of the mummy. We have a Mars Attacks, the... Disc has slid down inside of the back of the card right there. But Mars Attacks, Martian Trooper. And last but not least, Dragon Ball Evolution Piccolo figure on the card. And the top of that card is cut off right there. So you get all of that for one bid. We are at 50 with Eddie's. We'll call this action figure lot. Even though it's not just action figures, it's other stuff too. Okay, we're at 60 with Eddie's eBay Attic. We had 55 with Sand Dollar Ray. JRKR came in at 55 also. So we're at 60 currently with Eddie. We're at 75 with Sandal Ray. We're at 80 with Eddie. Nice big lot. Trying to see if there's any more action figure type stuff I can add to it just to kind of move it out of the warehouse. There is. Here's some more I'm going to add to it. Unchained Fury, Raw, WWF figure, twice the anger, Vince McMahon versus Ric Flair. Mint carded Jack Pacific figure. This is probably pretty hard to find. I'll put it down here. So we're at 90 with Eddie's eBay Attic. We're at 100 with Ray. And this is the last figure I see laying around up here. So this is Adrenaline. This is Ray Mysterio and Finley with the ladder a two pack Series 30. For Jack specific wrestler figures, these are actually really good. Especially like the Rey Mysterio is a good figure. Super popular. So you get all of this for your bid. So we're at 100 with Sand Dollar Ray. So 
We have a Benjamin. That's why I added something to it. Seems like the video is about 30 seconds behind. Huge lot. Yep. Hang on, Janine. So we're at 100 with Ray looking for any advance. Going once, guys. Going once. And then I think I have one more lot, and then we're done. Okay, no more advance. Going twice. I believe we're going to be sold at 100. This will be a good buy, Ray. The last two figures I put in, the last two two sets are good. to sell it go ahead ray gets a deal okay sold 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 100 to ray Congratulations, Ray. That was a good buy. Ray Mysterio for Sandeller Ray. Okay. Look, Chris Chatworth's missing out. Okay, here's a miscellaneous lot. Uh, $15 start, guys. $15 start. This is much heavier than I thought it was going to be. But $15 start for the slot. So you get the dollhouse furniture, carriage house dollhouse furnishings. You get a cherub ornament. The child cherub ornament. You get a shoe form, foot form. You get cherished teddies, good job mini figurine. You get a precious moments, isn't he wonderful? Christmas ornament, another precious moments, the first Noel, Christmas ornament, a larger cherished teddy, this is the camel nativity figure, this is a large one, so it is, so $15 start, probably will not cover shipping, because I didn't realize that little thing was a big one, these are resin, so they're pretty heavy. Friends like you are precious and true. Reminds me of the, uh, the patchwork camel from Raggedy Ann. So that's Cherished Teddies. And then here's another Cherished Teddy exclusive members only pieces. This is the set that you get here. You get Kate, the symbol of friendship. This is the 2005 set. A cuddly cherished teddy plush teddy bear inside. An insulated lunch cooler. Uh, subscription to Town Tattler. Access to the club website. Free hotline. And more. 
So gift set or a membership, two precious moments, two cherished teddies, this, the dollhouse furniture, and then let's not forget this giant piece here. Um, it is still sealed, but I can fix that. Okay. I fixed it. It's not sealed anymore. Okay, this is... Oh, look, a little diorama. Welcome to, looks like the North Pole. Cherish teddies. So this was a display for Cherish teddies. This would have went back behind it, like so. And there's probably trees in the bottom, my guess, for these. Unless this somehow stands in there. But it was factory sealed, so the other pieces are probably there just inside. So we are at $20 with Eddie on all of the cherished teddies and precious moments, including the membership club pieces. Precious Moments, and everything. Awesome lot. Pretty large. That's really heavy. It's probably about six pounds, eight pounds. So we're at $20 with Eddie. And this set has a teddy bear inside, like a plush bear, and another cherished teddy inside of it with the insulated cooler and it was for members only so we have chris in jumps in at 40. thank you chris you missed out on all the good toy lots <laughs> we did a bunch of cool toys Trying to get that last lot. Make it all media and video games and whatnot. To hit my 30 for the day. Okay, we have Chris Chatworth in at 50. Cherish teddies and precious moments. Okay, where are we at? We have 60 with Eddie. Chris is out. KJ is out. Okay, we have $60 with Eddie. Looking for any advance. We're going to have one more lot after this, guys, and then we're going to call it. Let Janine and Mama G get some sleep. I don't think anybody else is having auctions right now. Are they, Mama G? Anybody else having an auction this afternoon? Maybe Pirate. Maybe it's 6. And if he is, you guys should definitely check him out. Storage Auction Pirate. Mike, he's a good guy. Ships out quick. Does a really good job packing. Has awesome stuff, usually. But I think he has an auction this evening. So we're at 60 with Eddie going once, going twice.
Oh, flamingos are selling today. Okay. Sold for 60. To Eddie, congratulations, Eddie. What is this one called? Santa's Workshop Displayer. Okay, we got one more lot for you guys. That'll be our 30 for the day. Just kind of grabbing stuff from around. I may add more to this lot as you guys are bidding, just to clear more stuff off the tables and whatnot, because that's what I do. So this is Crusader. Conspiracy of the Kingdom of Jerusalem. It's a PC and Mac game. France Telecom Multimedia, 1997. I am not all sure what's in these trays. Pam usually makes them before I come in. So there is the game of Crusader. I know this is a game. Tony Tuff and in the Night of Roasted Moths. So this is a adventure game for Windows 95, 98, ME, 2000, and XP. A game of Risk for Mac Play. This one is factory sealed. So Mac computer game. Uh, $20 start on this lot. Jasmine Multimedia. Morph Movies. So this was software for screensavers and stuff like that. It is factory sealed from Micro's Windowsoft compatible. This one here is also factory sealed. Welcome to the future, the most incredible alternate reality adventure ever. So this one is factory sealed. This was whatever year that is. 95 maybe? I don't know. Windows 3.1 or greater. We have a sealed The Andy Griffith Show complete third season DVD set. Learn French for Travelers. War of the Worlds, 60 minutes on one cassette. War of the Worlds cassette tape. We have Pam Tate, Something Wonderful. To be pretty much unplayed. We have Shirley Scott, a walking thing. Really nice. This is factory sealed. Led Zeppelin's sources of inspiration and import CD. That's probably really good, guys because of it being an import and it is factory sealed. Lena Nimberg Quintet. Nice shape. A Mitch Ryder hip pocket forward little 45 RPM record in the package. Carl Perkins Memorial. 1990. So like blues, Cecil Payne, Scotch and Milk, more blues, A Night in Tunisia, Earl Parker, Sahara. Um, another one of those rec records, like those hip 45s, Ford records. Ella Fitzgerald and Joe Pass, Hamburg Duets, 1976. Exotic guitars about the Sonic Lounge. Um, some foreign music. And they're all in there. Gerald Wiggins, 1950. Here's another one of those hip pocket records, still sealed. Joan Baez. And then last but not least in this lot is Neil Diamond. This is a tin embossed exclusive to FYE back in the day. Has the CDs inside for all three of these albums. For Stones, Moods, 
and touching you, touching me. Neil Diamond. All sealed. So, three sealed games, two unsealed, and this one might actually be sealed on the inside. Look, there's even the original price, the original label. That's kind of funny. Oh, the tape's still stuck on that one. It's a nice multimedia lot, video games, CDs, and the Andy Griffith DVD set of the third season. So we are at $38 with Matthew Puglisia. Puglisa. Matthew Bailey came in just a second late. So we're at $38 on the lot. So nice group. Like I said, this one is probably pretty good. The import of Led Zeppelin's Source of Inspiration sealed CD. The Neil Diamond sealed, and then all the video games sealed. The old computer games. And this is lot number 30. And this will end us for today, guys, once this lot is done. I do want to thank everybody for being here. I will be sending out invoices tonight um, for everything from today's auction and yesterday's auction. If it is paid by tomorrow morning, it will ship tomorrow. If not, it will ship after. Snapper wants a small lot of vintage posters. Um, let me see if I can grab something while you guys are bidding. I think I know where I have a box at. Oh. One lot just for you, Snapper. Hopefully Paul's around. I know Paul likes his vintage posters too. Snapper's like, no, no, we don't want Paul here. So we are at 48 with JRKR. Nice big lot of mixed media. Five old games. Some sealed DVD VCR, and CDs. And then some blues and jazz type stuff. So we'll count two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Hey, we have JRKR in at 55. Spencer, I can't do the Digimon anyway because they're on the other side of the building. I have to go get them. They're with the uh, Pokemon collection that I just bought. Yeah, it used to be a cartoon. To see it on TV. Okay, so we have 55 with JRKR. Going once, going twice. media. Okay. 
Here we sold. Go in twice. <laughs> nice. Yeah, these are in the collection. I spent a lot of money on the collection, though, but like I said, the base set hologram Machamps, I've seen them, you know, five to ten grand a pop to get them graded for the first edition stamped ones. And there's three of them in the collection. Okay, JRKR 55, congratulations. Okay, guys, there's 36 movie posters right here. 36 vintage movie posters, all folded. I just counted them. Uh, it is 1982. Dracula blows his cool. It's love at first bite. Got the half-naked girl on the front. Comedy, but rated R, so sexploitation. There's three of those. The Great Train Robbery, 1979, Michael Crichton-based movie. It's got Sean Connery and Donald Sutherland in it. Endless Love, 1981. This one has Brooke Shields in it, I think. Yep, Brooke Shields is in this one. So you have Brooke Shields... Martin Hewitt in Endless Love. So there's a second one of Endless Love. We have Dreamer. Susan Blakely, Tim Matheson, and Jack Warden in Dreamer. There's 36 posters, guys. Let's get started at wherever you want to. We know where they go, so... This is Daniel, Timothy Hutton. Uh, I don't know what this one is because it's folded right inside. Wickedly Amusing Movie, Death Trap, Michael Caine, Christopher Reeve, Diane Cannon, so Death Trap, that's kind of cool. So 36 posters. See what this one is. This one might be the same. This one is the same. Another death trap. All 70s and 80s movies. This one is folded in. Let's see what this is. This is the fan. This is the story of the greatest great fan, great star, and a fan who went too far. Uh, let's see who's in this one. Lauren Bacall is in this. And she's the main one. We have Fist, which is Sylvester Stallone, 1977. Another one of Fist, Sylvester Stallone. Here's the fan again, 1981. French postcards, 1979. Swashbuckler, it's like a, uh, I'm trying to remember who's in this one. Robert Shaw, James Earl Jones is in this, Peter Boyle, and Bo Bridges. Yeah, pirate movie. Swashbuckler. So Bo Bridges, James Earl Jones. The Man Who Wasn't There, 1983. Steve Gutenberg, Jeffrey Tambor. Uh, Out of Bounds. Mm, sounds familiar. Anthony Michael Hall, that's who's in it. Out of Bounds. First Monday in October. Walter Matthau. Alamo Bay, 1985. All of Me, 1984. Let's see who's in it. Endless Love, again with Brooke Shields. Interiors, 1978 with Woody Allen, directed this. Uh, let's see. 
Richard Jordan, Diane Keaton, Kristen Griffin, and Mary Pendlebert. On Right Track, 1981. Gary Coleman's in that one. When You Come Back, Red Rider, uh, 1979. Burt Reynolds and Chris Christopherson. This is semi-tough. Tarzan the Ape Man. Bo Derek is in that movie. Fame. Oh, this is awesome. Fame. I want to live forever. Remember. Remember. So fame. Advance one sheet. So this is before the actual movie came out. This was the advance. So it's coming this summer on it. Foul Play, 1978. One's Goldie Hawn and Chevy Chase. Berserk is John Candy. Uh, let's see. Beyond the Limit is Michael Caine and Richard Gere, 1983. This is Privates on Parade, Dennis Quilly. Hanky Panky, which is uh, Gene Wilder. French Postcards, 1979. Bad Guys is the one with Sergeant Slaughter and a bunch of the different wrestlers. The Iron Sheik in them. And the last one is Ode to Billy Joel, 1976. Max Baer, Robbie Benson. That's what we got. 36 posters, guys, shipped to you. We are at $90 with Sky. Less than $3 a piece right now. You guys are lucky that Vintage Treasures isn't here, so hurry up and get your buy in. And this is our last lot of the day. So 36 posters. The Fame Advanced One Sheet is really nice. So we have Sky in at 90, looking for 95 or better. 95 with Snapper. 100 with Sky. 110 with Nantique. I like the wrestling one. But like I said, Fame is probably one of the best ones in here, in my opinion. Just because it is an advance one sheet before the movie actually released. Before they knew how much of an American classic this movie was going to be. Advances are always a little better because they're a little earlier. Thirty-six total posters. We're at Snappers out. We're at Nantique at one forty. Skies at one fifty. So we have Sky in at one fifty. Thirty-six posters. We're still under five dollars a poster. It's an awesome buy for somebody. Lots of great actors and actresses. Hey, Anthony. Oh, Anthony is out. Hi, Crystal. So 36 vintage movie posters, all 70s and early 80s. Looking for any advance. We have Sky in at 150. Nantique is out. Everybody looks like they're out, so we can start going the calling it once. 
Everybody bite your lip. Watch. Vintage Treasures is like lurking out there somewhere. Going to jump in in that last second like he always does. So we have Sky at 150 looking for any advance. Going once, we'll call it down. This is the last item of the day, guys. Kept you guys an extra hour. Sorry about that. Guys, make sure you head over to Flipping Flamingos after here. Yeah, Snapper, next week I'm going to be doing a lot of that stuff. I'm still trying to get these tables cleared off just so I have space to walk. So next week on Tuesday I'll probably do the glass and stuff just to get everything cleared up. And then Wednesday, I will spend a whole day on vintage rock and roll posters and movie posters. How's that sound? Hi, Will. So we're at 150, going twice, sold. Sold, sold, sold to Sky. 150, congratulations, Sky. And again, thank you guys very much. I will uh, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I'm going to release videos this week. I'm going to come in tomorrow and actually dig into the 1800s Victorian photo albums. And I'll make a video of that. The Pokemon collection that came in, I will make a video of that. And then I will create a preview for next week's auctions. So I will have three videos coming out between now and next Tuesday. So over the next seven days, probably every other day, I'll release a video. So, guys, have a great Christmas. Thank you all so much for being here. You guys are fantastic. I appreciate everything from you guys. Make sure to share us out. Next year, we're going to have some big things coming. I'm going to change the auction format for YouTube um, one or two times and create a big stir in the world of auctions. And people are going to go crazy. Crazy, I say. We're going to do a lot of, a lot of selling next year. So everybody have a great Christmas. Merry Christmas to everyone. I will be sending invoices within the next hour. So I'll see everybody later. Have a great night. Mr. Buys a lot signing off. Oh, wait, I forgot to show you guys. Look, 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 look what my wife got me. Not my work wife either. Mr. Buys a lot shirt. Okay, just figured I'd show that to you guys just for fun. I'll let Pam know. She left a little early. She always leaves a little bit right at four. So we'll see everybody later. Everybody have a great night, and I have some big things coming next year. Merry Christmas, everybody. Janine, we'll make you up one. Merry Christmas.